people around the sphere take a great measure of importance when looking at IQ, which it is important. Yeah, when I see these nihilists talking about the fact that it is possible to create the black Superman because they're trying to eradicate anything that could be seen as a meme of hope or of value, then, you know, anything to confide in. The white race was probably one of them, if you are white or you see value in that whiteness. And so they want to crush it by saying, well, with selective breeding, you can make the black Superman. And of course, there are blacks with IQs that are civilization-friendly, which isn't that impressive. It's basically just 90s range and up. You, you can find that. You don't necessarily have to go for the guys in the 140s. That's not necessarily necessary. Why did I just say that's not necessarily necessary? That's totally redundant. And... <laughs> total brain fart. You're gonna need some abstractions, don't get me wrong. Because... A civilization requires some level of abstraction in terms of the general artistry of the architecture, the institutions themselves. You're going to need some abstractions when it comes to constructing these religious institutions, arts, the political structure. It's all very important. I'm sure I'm leaving some things out like plumbing and just all the other stuff I'm taking for granted because I'm a dirty first worlder in New York. But the infrastructure is very important. Don't believe me, just watch Hurricane Sandy and you'll see how fucked up the infrastructure in NYC is and how badly it's designed. That you need someone with a better construct of abstraction to like remodel everything, especially the train system. Past couple of winters, people have been stuck in utter burrows, miles and miles away from where they want to be at, because the train system is terrible. No one is doing a damn thing to correct and rectify the issues. That just leaves me to the fact that it's not the end-all, be-all. It's not what's going to save a black race. If we're going to continue with this project of making them have the resources to build a civilization on their own. Because the biggest problem for a black person or a Negroid isn't the IQ issue. Especially since we started mixing with them and black Afri like, African American blacks, those post West Africans, they kind of Americanized and their IQs are higher, but they've lost some of their old nobility. And a big problem is that a lot of them chimp out. That's the real problem. Not the IQ problem, the chimp out problem. What are you going to do about the chimp outs? That's really important. I mean, are you going to rectify the issue by changing the hormone, because the chimp out issue is very important. Uh, like, take... If they don't get what they want, on a regular basis, no matter what it is, they fight for it like their life depends on it. 
even if it doesn't fully make sense. If they... Uh, here's a funny example, even though it's based entirely on fiction. The commercial for... Remember that It's My Money and I Need It Now bullshit? Uh, J.G. Wetworth or some shit like that? Everyone was basically recreating, like, network movie scene where... I'm not gonna, I'm at it, so I'm not gonna take this anymore, or some shit like that, but instead of saying that, it's my money, and I need it now. And everyone was saying that in their own way, but the black guy was saying it like his life depended upon it. When they don't get what they want at first, they may calm down, but when all avenues close, and it's all over, then they'll start chimping out. If it's not when they start, Realizing they're not going to get what they want, it's when that fully goes into fruition that they freak out. Because that's instinct, and you're going to have to control for that and rectify that issue. Because I'm sure in African cultures, this was controlled for and rectified with because the lower IQ blacks that come here have some means of controlling for their behavior, I notice it. When they don't have the white admixture, for some reason, these guys have it in them that they don't chimp out. That they may do it, but it's not as bad. They have had some culture instilled on them. They've been nurtured out of that. And we have to find out what it is it's either inherent in them, or it's in the culture, or a mixture of both. There is some degree of that that is, in a way, noble, because it rectifies that major issue. And we have to find out what that is. But until then, I want you guys to do your homework, and to think about it.